We live in the age of cities, and we can see this because more than half of the world's population lives in cities, and this number is increasing. Cities are places where people come together for opportunity to have a meaningful job, housing, culture, education, health, and of course, economic activity. We also know that there are problems. Cities are places where there's great inequality, where there's contamination, could be in congestion, poor urban services. Our cities use up 70% of our resources and they contribute enormous amounts to waste. Most of our cities have an extractive method. They take resources from outside the city, they use them, and the waste is then thrown away. The old model had this static picture of what the city is. But today we know that cities are constantly changing and therefore we need to take a more holistic view of those problems. Not just the physical aspects, not just the political aspects, not the social alone or the economic, but we have to bring them together. Bringing people together also is a source of inspiration and innovation. Cities will be competing for talent. So that's one thing that has to do sort of with the social structure of cities. On the other hand, we also have to look at the economy of cities. One of the opportunities we have is the circular economy. And how do we use our resources in the best way? Everything we have in the city is a potential resource. Why not use our building stock throughout the day and night for other uses, for diverse uses. We could have a school in the morning, a senior citizens club in the afternoon, a restaurant bar at night, and a logistics hotel in the wee hours of the morning. But it's not enough. We have to go beyond that with new models. For example, the shared economy. Everything we create, everything we use, has to be within our own circle. We can't take from the outside and throw away to the outside. About 20 to 25 percent of the materials that are used in a building are just thrown away. They end up in the dump. We have to think that there must be other ways to create these materials, to source them, other types of recyclable materials, or materials from sources that we can regenerate, like wood or bamboo. These fibers are made from old clothes. It's part of a process that can turn nearly any used fabric into something brand new. We have to see everything we use, from the products at home, to our, our clothing, to our buildings, as potentially resources to recycle, reuse, and when we're done with them, to give them a new use. It's the age of seeing cities as ecosystems. Everything is connected. And this means we need new knowledge to see those connections. Technology is not the answer, but it can certainly help us to analyze, to understand and trying to find a balance in those ecosystems by pulling together knowledge from different disciplines, undertaking research, and creatively trying to find new ways of making our cities sustainable, livable, and above all, democratic and just for all.